he was the right kind of inquirer, risk taker, and um, maverick that people like to be around because he's, he's got a multi-dimensional character. He was a, an amazing New, Sci New Zealand scientist and his contribution to this country goes way beyond his own research. He dedicated himself to his science, that science was in nuclear magnetic resonance. He had studied at one of the world's leading institutions at Oxford University, but committed to coming back and building his research career here in New Zealand and created one of the world's leading research groups in nuclear magnetic resonance. He got numerous accolades and awards for that work, including Fellowship of the Royal Society of London, uh, numerous medals and awards here in New Zealand, including our highest scientific award, the Rutherford Medal. But that, for Paul, was not enough. He was also committed to being an outstanding teacher and understood the value of engaging and exciting students at the earliest po possible time, which was also why he would like to work out uh, in schools and do the outreach work, both uh, through individualised school visits and in more general terms through public lectures and radio and television work. So, you know, those dual contributions of being a great researcher, a great teacher and then a great communicator were probably some of his greatest public contributions. Behind the scenes though, he was also pretty politically astute and understood the ways to sell the case for science and for, um, for more investment in science as a national good. You know, his legacy is the students that he had, um, the, the awards that bear his name, again, are creating a generation of folks in this country who are going to make a difference, who are going to make New Zealand um, a better place to live, and who are going to make this country um, a place that people want to live, and a place that people around the world look to as a, the kind of country that you know they aspire to be and, and and I think that's a great thing. Yeah like I think if Paul were in a position to dial into the YouTube channel for the Eureka Awards he would be absolutely pleased to be spending as much of his day as he could hearing the stories of these young people and seeing the things that they were passionate about engaging in the ways that they were communicating their passion and he would be um, he would be thrilled to see the talent that we've got. Celebrating excellence is a really good thing and identifying people who are good at what they do and then rewarding them and, and celebrating their achievements, to my mind that's a great thing um, and some of the folks who've won these awards have gone on to amazing careers, bigger and better things in the future and they're really contributing to shaping the future of New Zealand.